So for the first question, what they want you to do is use f of x to create three functions that can move it left on the coordinate plane. So when we're dealing with the word left, I'm thinking about how it's going to affect my x. So that would be f of x, and give me a number, 3. Left, in my mind, means right, so there's 1. Another one could be f of x minus 2 plus 1. It does have a vertical shift, but it does have a horizontal shift as well. It could also just be f of x minus 3.75. So I just want you to see, oopsies, sorry, left it means it's got to be plus. It means it's got to be plus. So be careful. Do not circle the ones that say minus. Okay. All right. So what they want us to do is here's the parent function. So the parent function goes through 0, 0, and it makes a u. But if you look here now, the vertex, it looks like, is at negative 2, 1. So it's affecting the x by going left, and it's affecting the y by going up. Okay? So describing the function would be a horizontal translation to units right. But remember, you have to write out horizontal translation to units right. Write it out or it's wrong. And then a vertical... Translation, one unit up. If I asked you to write a function that could match that, that would be the child. So if this is the parent, this is the child. Okay? Then you do the opposite. And then do the straight shooter. Okay? To notice that there's the opposite. And there's the F. Okay? All right. So let's look here at this one. So this means it's going to the right. This means it's a vertical, um, a vertical stretch. And this means it's a reflection. Since it's with the y, it really means it's with the x. So all of them say reflect on the x-axis. Vertical stretch by a factor of 3. Doesn't even talk about that. Horizontal translation to units right. Okay, so be careful about that. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Describe the transformation. Okay, so it's with a 7. Horizontal translation, 7 units, the opposite left. Remember, right out, horizontal translation, 7 units left. And this would be a vertical translation, 2 units up. Okay. All right, this is asking for more describing. So, this is a horizontal translation for units right. This is with the y, which really means a function over the x-axis. If I asked you to graph this, you would graph the parent function. And then you would graph the child, which means you would literally follow the directions. You would go four to the right. And then you'd reflect it over the x, which means it'd be going down. So this right here would be this. Okay. I don't know if I'm asking you to describe, graph, but I just want to cover both. Okay. This means a vertical translation, five units down. So I graph my parent. And then my child would just be five units down. Don't flip it. And there's my child based on the parent. Try this one, okay? And sorry, I forgot to describe. If it's squared, it means it's a parabola, which means it's making a U. But this time it's a cubed, which means if it's a cubed, it's making a squiggle, okay? So the only thing that's happening here is a reflection over. It's not with the X. If it was with the X, it would be in parentheses. So it's with the Y, but it's a reflection, which really means it's with the X. Reflection over the x-axis, which means it's now backwards. So this, oops, sorry, this is the child. Just going backwards. Okay. All right. All right, on this one, I need you to evaluate. So I need to find negative 4 on the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, cool, it's right there. Boom, and it's 0. 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine. Huh. If you look at negative 9, it is not part of the function. So that would be no solution. Okay. 
So be careful of that. This time I'm asking you to go along your Y axis. So you go one, two, three. Now, if you'll notice, I can go to the left and get a value, which looks like six, seven, eight. So X equals negative eight. But I could also go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have two answers for that one. So just to let you know, this would be worth a point and a point, but this would be worth two points if you happen to have two answers. This time I have to go along my Y to five. Well, there's nothing to the right, there's nothing to the left. So that's another no solution. Okay. Um, I guess there's more reflections here and more transformations. So it's just presented in a different way. So if you look here, I gave you the equation and here I wrote it in f of x form. So with the negative, it's with the y, which really means it's with the x. This represents a vertical stretch by a factor of 7. Okay? Um, and then if I asked you to graph it, well, you don't even know the shape, so I wouldn't ask you to graph it. Okay? All right, let's look at the next one. All right, so I want you to represent this in a multitude of ways. So you're going to do this in set notation. So the domain and the range. The domain is just the x values. Don't write the same thing twice. The range is the y values. 2, 0, 3, 1. You can't do it in interval notation, which is why I'm not asking you to. Create a table. You can either make a horizontal table or a vertical table. I'm just making a vertical table just because of space. A mapping diagram. You can either do a rectangle. You can do um, circles, whatever. But don't write the same thing twice. I'm doing my x's here and my y's here. 2, 0, 3, 1. The negative 4 goes to the 2. The 7 goes to the 0. The negative 4 goes to the 3. And the 2 goes to the 1. And I'm going to ask you to graph it. There will be a graph pre-done there, so you're not going to have to do these little nicks. I hope so. Okay, and I'm going to plot it. Left 4, up 2. Right 7, one, two, three. and then 0. Left 4, up 3. And right 2, up 1. Um, and I'm not sure why I put set notation over here, because this is the domain and range in set notation. Um, is it a function? It is not a function. You're going to need to show your work here because it circles two times. Okay. I just realized what they want in set notation. They want you to actually just write the points in set notation. Okay. So this is set notation. And then this is your domain and your range. Okay, so it's just representing it in a multitude of ways. All right, so with this one, they want you to take the y value. So I see this is negative 2. So I take the y value and I add 2. So I go to negative 1. The y value is negative 1. Add 2. F of 0 is negative 2. Or no, it looks like positive 2 because that says equals. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. Just show me work on um, one of them and then you're fine. Or a couple of them actually would be better. F of 1 is 1 plus 2 is 3. F of 2 is 3 plus 2 is 5. F of 3 is 0 plus 2 is 2. So if you look here, you're just affecting those y values every single time. Okay. So now let's look at this one. This time what you're doing is you're taking the x value. So you're going to go 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So f of negative 2 is 1. So you're taking the x value. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So you're doing f of negative 1, which is negative 1. Show your work. That way I don't think you just guessed. Um, shoot, where are we? Um, 1 minus 2. There we go. So now f of 2 minus 2 is 0. What's the y value? 2. And it looks like it's just matching, but let me double check. 3 minus 2 is 1. Um, f of 1 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 
3, 5 minus 2 is 3, 0. Okay? Now for this one, again, we're affecting our x. So be careful about this. So I'm going to go 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. f of negative 2, 1. Half of 2 is 1, negative 1. Y value, negative 1. Show your work, because I think some of you are going to go, cool, I just repeat the y values. You've got to show me that you know that it's really f of negative 2, which is 1. So 0, half of nothing is still nothing. There's 2. Um, 2 times 1 is 2. Um, oopsies, it's, oh, that's a half. Half of 2 is 1, 1. 2 times 1 is 2, 3, and then 3 halves of 2 is um, 3, and so that's 0. Okay? Make sure you show me work. If I just see y values, I just think you copied and you will not get full credit. Okay. So I want you to describe the transformation and state the vertex. So I feel like I want to do the vertex first, and I'm going to do the vertex first on all of them. When you look here, this will represent your x value. So since there's nothing being added or subtracted, it's a 0. Since there's something being added, it's going to be a 2, but remember when it's with the x, it's not a straight shooter. So there we go. It's being subtracted, but when it's not with the x, or when it's with the x, it's not a straight shooter. So minus 8 really means positive 8. So that's the x value. The y value is what's on the outside. The y value is what's on the outside. The y value, hey, there's nothing there, would be 8 comma 0. If I asked you to describe this transformation, this would be reflection over the y-axis. I don't know what I'm going to ask you to do, but I'm trying to cover all my bases. This would be a vertical translation, three units down. Okay. Um, this would be a horizontal translation, two units, not straight shooter, left. Straight shooter, vertical translation, ten units down. This would be a vertical stretch by a factor of 6. And this would be a horizontal translation, 8 units, not straight shooter, right? Okay. Now we've done all these transformations. Now I need you to actually create a new function. When you create a new function, you can't put f of x anymore. Do you notice how it said f of x, g of x? Parent, child, parent, child. That's how you know. So that means I'll start both of these with g of x. You need to be aware of the shape. Since it's a squared, you have to keep it squared. Okay, horizontal translation right really means I'm going to be going left. It doesn't really mean that, but that's what's going on in your brain. And then a reflection over the x really mean it's with a y. So I'm going to go negative x minus 3 squared. Okay. Let's go to the next one. All right, so vertex is 3, comma 1. Remember, when you're with the x, you're not a straight shooter, so plus 3 really means minus 3. And when you're with the y, you're a straight shooter, so negative 1. Okay. All right, this one's going to be bonus. There's a lot happening here, and I want to acknowledge the part that I think would be the easiest first. So this would be a vertical translation three units down. This negative, if it's with the x, it really means it's with the y, reflection over the y axis. This is with the x, the 6. But 6 really means the reciprocal, which is 1 6, which means it's not a stretch, it's a compression. So horizontal compression by a factor of 1 6. But the problem is we have a plus 2. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this. I'm going to move it over here. And I want you, let me take that negative 6x plus 2. I need to take out the negative 6x, put the x there, and think about what can I multiply this by so I can get the 2 back. Okay? And that's 1 third. So, and I know that because negative 6 times x is negative 6x, and 6 times 1 third is 2, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So in order to get my full bonus, I would say horizontal translations, one-third units right. Okay? Please study.